Here I'm going to show the Wi-Fi connection procedure with an Android phone and the DC2000. Make sure that you have the latest firmware, which is version V1.09. You will see that when you power on the camera on the bottom right, you see the firmware quickly appear. So V1.09 is the latest firmware. So this is an Android S22 Plus. It is running Android 13. I have the uh, Link123 Plus app installed. It looks like this, not the Link123 app. It has to be the Link123 Plus. So I'll go ahead and open that. And this is the, when the first time you open it, there, there will be some permissions. So accept all of those permissions uh, while using the app. Yes, allow, allow and the first message welcome the uh, app uses bluetooth to enable wi-fi so it's using both bluetooth and wi-fi so the first step you can select okay is to enable the camera's wi-fi so you click that and a list of all of the bluetooth devices in the area will appear now on the bottom of the camera is a serial number that will match the serial number of the camera uh, as a hotspot, right? So here, let's try to match this up. Uh, it is this one, okay? So select that. Okay, now your camera's Wi-Fi has been enabled. Exit the app, go to the uh, phone's Wi-Fi settings and select the camera, okay? So close the app. Go to Settings, Connections, Wi-Fi, and here you will find the serial number again. It will pop up. There it is, Abcam A090035. So select that. Now the first time you do this, you will have to add a passcode, which is 12345678. Is normal for the internet may not be available message to pop up and and you will see some options here so um, you'll want to select stay connected all right so it is connected without internet that's correct the camera does not have internet all right now we go back to the app and now you select ok enter the app you can see what's happening on the phone here. You will see a live view. The phone will display a live view of what the camera sees. All right. So I did not install a memory card in this camera. And that is a warning message that pops up. Um, so to download photos, you can select in the bottom left, the playback. And there you will see on top two galleries. One is the camera gallery. Uh, that is all the files saved on the camera. And the other is the phone gallery. Okay, these are files that you've already downloaded. I haven't downloaded any. So let's go to camera gallery. And we'll select some pictures here. Select the download icon and then pick the files you want to download. See a check mark appears. I'll pick these three files and then select download. So a progress bar pops up. The images, these three images are now being wirely transmitted to the phone. Okay, and when this is done, you will see these images appear in the phone gallery. And from there, you can move them to your native camera or photo app or share them. So it's complete. I'll select OK. And there you will see phone gallery. Here are the three images. And to share or to save them to the photos app on your phone, select the share icon. And notice you cannot share photos and videos at the same time. It has to be one or the other. Okay, so 
Let's see, we're gonna select this one here, share that, select share. When sharing pictures, videos, disconnect the camera's Wi-Fi first. Well, that's if you're sharing it via Wi-Fi to another device. But to save it internally to the camera roll, uh, look at all of the options here that you have, all these sharing options. Okay, so let's see. Uh, if I can find, I like to use Dropbox, but um, let's see if I can find the native photos app here. Photos, there we go. So there you go, it's uploading the photos to, this is how uh, that was Google Photos. Now it can't do it because I'm Wi-Fi connected from between the camera and the phone. So that Wi-Fi is busy. I'd have to disconnect, see an error occurred. So uh, that's it. Hope this uh, video has helped.